So we got an issue here with a Linux iComfort heating and cooling system. We've got this uh, service urgent and an alert that you can view. And this tells us that we've got a service urgent alert code 413. Outside unit high pressure switch strikes the lockout. So something's going on with that outside unit. Must have some kind of high temperature or high pressure switch that's indicating the compressor is having a problem. I'm going to show you how to go ahead and reset it in the short term just so you can get this thing back running again. As you can see, you've got the cool set to 74, but it's only at 77 degrees because it's just not running at this point. So I'm out here at the outside unit and I'm going to go ahead and just pull the power to reset it and try to clear that code. This is the power going into the unit here. Pulling that straight out, let those capacitors clear for a minute or two. Then I'll go inside, flip the switch for the air handler inside, turn that off, turn off the main computer, turn off the uh, thermostat control panel, and then I'll start everything back up and see if that code clears out. And don't mess with that guy. He seems to own the place and he's big. So I'm upstairs here at the air handler now and you can see that that remote sending unit that goes to the thermostats blinking red because of that error and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the power to the whole air handler so all the power is out to the whole system at this point then we'll go ahead and plug that back in. Now it's starting the restart sequence and booting back up the thermostat controllers. And it's got power to the main board here now. And now we got rid of that red flashing light at the sending unit. And now we've got the thermostats rebooting and it's starting to make a connection back to the air handler at this point. And we got the indicator that says we'll start soon. It takes a few minutes for it to reset everything and get in sync with the outside unit and get the, get the pressure up to where it needs to be. And we should see that it'll start cooling with an indicator here and try to achieve this 74 degrees temperature per the thermostat. And hopefully we don't see this error come back up in here. And then if that's the case, we'll have cleared it out. And there we go, we got the cooling symbol here. And it's starting to work. And I look up here to these vents, I can hear the airflow into my, re into my uh, return in here. And it's blowing out cold from my supply in here. So for now, the issue is solved, but whatever is causing that uh, pressure switch to f throw is going to need to be fixed. And there's probably something on the outside unit that's got something wrong with it. So we'll go ahead and uh, see how long this lasts and then have to go get that fixed. But if this happens again, this is a quick way for you to reset it and get your system back running again. Hey, I hope this video helped. And if it did, please give it a thumbs up and that'll help other people find it as well. And have a great day.